welcome to Take 10 with the Tennessee Tribune. I'm Sandra Long Weaver, the editorial director for the Tribune, and today my guest is Reverend Herbert Lester of Clark Memorial United Methodist Church. Welcome. Thank you. All right. And we're going to talk today about a community meeting uh, that you are doing in conjunction with Blakemore United Methodist Church on August 31st? Yes. Okay. And the meeting uh, is based, Gideon's Army, which is an activist group here in Nashville, has put together a report on uh, profiling and driving while black um, and how uh, people are stopped and what, what they're looking for. And the report is based on police data. So why is it important to get this information out to the community? What are you hoping to accomplish? Well, hopefully people in the community, once they are informed, uh, uh, and people in African-American communities are already aware of the reality. But by taking uh, data from the police department and compiling this report, Gideon's Army is able to document just how significant the differences in policing in African-American as opposed to other communities is. And uh, Gideon's Army, along with any number of other organizations, are uh, hoping to work with the city in forming a citizen's overview board that would uh, be independent of the police department, but able to look at concerns where the police department is concerned from the perspective of ordinary citizens. Mm -hmm. So the report, which actually has been out for almost a year, yes. it came out in November 2016, mm -hmm. but has not really gotten a lot of attention. Yes. So the report will be presented looking at the figures of arrest or stops mm -hmm. in African, uh, of Af African Americans compared to whites or Hispanics or other groups in Nashville, um, yes. and, then, and then taking action steps uh, to really, or talking about what action steps can be taken. Yeah, like the, uh, the uh, Citizens Overview Board mm -hmm. and um, uh, other actions that people in the community might take. You would that a report as well done as these armies uh, report is mm -hmm. and done in conjunction with the Divinity School at Vanderbilt University would have gone much more attention than it did. Mm -hmm. uh, there is still, <coughs> excuse me, some um, should we say opposition to uh, a citizens overview board from uh, uh, any number of areas in city government, and we're hoping to generate enough citizen support for that that we can overcome in the opposition to the idea that the police ought not be policing themselves mm -hmm. because what we have as a result is exactly what's happening on our streets right now. Mm -hmm. So what would a police oversight board do? How would that be helpful? Well, uh, there are any number of cities who have them and the idea is that here is a body independent of the police department able to receive complaints from citizens and then look at those and investigate those complaints uh, objectively uh, uh, and then make recommendations to the police department or if it's criminal activity to the district attorney or to the appropriate bodies. But here would be an objective body appointed uh, uh, with, well, with some members elected from the community, uh, uh, representation from government, even from the police department, but a majority of citizens uh, mm -hmm. looking at what the police department does. Okay. And has there been discussion with uh, city officials? about uh, this happening and you said there's some opposition. Oh sure. Uh, is the administration uh, opposed to it? Yeah, the uh, mayor has, uh, I believe, even contracted to bring some people in mm -hmm. to look at policing in Nashville and ways of improving police community relations. Mm -hmm. But asking the police or giving the police the power to police themselves is a little like putting the uh, fox in charge of the hen house. <laughs> okay, <laughs> that's one way of looking at it. So uh, if there is an oversight board, are you hoping, this meeting is August 31st, are you hoping to have the board in place by January? or And how many people would be on the board? Uh, well, everything is still in the formative process. Okay. Uh, uh, but we're meeting, meeting with people from uh, city council, mm -hmm. uh, uh, from uh, other groups in the community to generate uh, both uh, support and information so that citizens are acting with knowledge about mm -hmm. what's going on and uh, hoping to see it become a reality as soon as possible. I doubt if this January, uh, uh, anything would happen before then, but you know. We never know. Yeah, we can always hope. Yeah. Now, uh, can you talk a little bit about some of the things that the report shows? 
Uh, well, it shows the uh, tremendous disparity between the number of people stopped mm -hmm. in African American co communities, even sometimes by African American police officers, mm -hmm. uh, uh, and it demonstrates how much that disparity happens in over-policed communities. For example, uh, we talk about, uh, and I don't know if the report uh, specifically talks about juveniles, but uh, there was a uh, activity that uh, 100 black men yes. sponsored along with the uh, police department, mm -hmm. a junior academy, and then they worked along with the Mayor's Youth Initiative. But in talking about that program, they talked about the fact that most crime among juveniles happens and is committed by African-American youth. Well, it would seem to me that uh, it would be difficult for 12 to 13 percent of the population to be committing uh, more than 50 percent of the crime, right. but more than 50 percent of the people arrested are uh, African -American. African-American. So uh, looking at those kinds of disparities and trying to figure out why mm -hmm. uh, that happens and what we can do to correct that problem. Mm -hmm. So are, as you're talking with city council people, are you starting to gain support? Are they hearing what you're saying about this? And oh yeah, I think that, that, that the, uh, the idea of a citizens only board will certainly have some support from some council people. And uh, we're hoping that some of those people will join us on the 31st at Clark to talk about uh, both the report from Gideon's Army and actions people in the community can be involved in. Uh, uh, churches can become involved by talking about this issue, informing their members of its important uh, civic organizations. Uh, everybody in the community needs to be both aware and engaged uh, in trying to uh, create this body and to increase the community's capacity to address other issues. Okay. So, yeah, so I can see so this, and this is a free event. Yes, it's, the, it's and, absolutely free. It's not just members of the two churches, but you're inviting the whole Nashville community exactly. to come in. Exactly. Blakemore and Clark have been, uh, Clark uh, is a historic African American congregation. Blakemore is a predominantly European congregation. And we've been meeting together now for over a year, talking about issues, studying, reading together, um, learning ways that we can be a bridge. Oh, that's okay. And so out of that, Mm -hmm. came the idea, let's hear this report together. Yes. Okay. Yes. Uh, what else have you worked on together? What other issues? Um, well, we started out looking at um, uh, a study, a book, uh, The End of White American Christianity, which was really a uh, uh, look at the data, data that describes the decline of membership, especially in mainland Protestant churches, mm -hmm. and why that's happening. Uh, and uh, what part race plays in all of this, and how the same phenomenon is also happening in mainland African American churches. Mm -hmm. And so we talked about that. Uh, we've talked about uh, some other things, built personal relationships, spent time together, and look forward to doing some other things together. Okay, well this sounds like a pretty big issue that you all are tackling together. And I'd like to hear more about what comes out of it and what action steps that the group decides to take. We've been talking with Reverend Herbert Lester of Clark Memorial United Methodist Church, and you are invited to attend the uh, meeting on police policing in Nashville on August 31st from 6 to 8 yes. at Clark Memorial. Is there anything else you'd like to add? Yeah, and I uh, need not even worry about going home for dinner from 6 to 6.30. Refreshments and child care will be provided, so we hope you'll join us. All right. Thank you very much. And we'll see you the next time.